Well, you and your favorite dog are invited to a gourmet dog treat tasting event. Actually, your dog will be doing the tasting, which includes chocolate, cheese, peanut butter treats, all things that they're not supposed to have. The woman behind these gourmet doggy treats is Patricia. And then, Patricia, you say your last name. Gritchy. Gritchy. And she is the founder of Smiling Dog. Thank you, and, and welcome for the Bay Area people. Now, Smiling Dog is a bakery? Smiling Dog, we manufacture all natural gourmet dog treats. Mm -hmm. And you do it with natural ingredients. And I know you're not aiming for a human consumption, but people actually eat the food too. Yes, everything, all the ingredients are human grade quality. Okay. So you can eat them. And it's really, I always tell people it's like low fat, healthy cooking. Um, it's not, we don't use sugar, we don't use chocolate, instead we use carob, right. um, which is a, a, a safe sub substitute for the, uh, for the uh, dogs. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I have, because we have you get the carob, <laughs> Max's yeah. carob cookies, and I pulled this out because I know dogs can't have chocolate. That's correct, it's toxic. Carob. Mm -hmm. carob is fine. Um, actually, that was actually done for a dog because a friend of ours was actually family, and that spurred the whole thing on. They were, um, we were hearing of people's problems with their pets as well as we always like to do really fun things with our dogs. Mm -hmm. And um, I wanted to do them like you do for children, and we like to do um, fun parties and things. So we started just investigating and trying to make it safe so the dogs could eat them because obviously a people cake you could right. eat, you know, feed to. So instead of doing a biscotti for people, you have, um, let's see, this one is Martha's Honey Biscotti. That's correct. And they look like little biscottis. They do. They are. We make everything just like a traditional biscotti, except the ingredients are different. We don't use sugar. Instead, we use honey. This mm -hmm. actually has a lot of oats in it, which is great for them. Uh -huh. It's actually good. The, the biscotti are very good as well. <laughs> <laughs> I think you tried some. Yeah, I've tried. No, we tried she didn't everything. have a chance. She didn't have a chance to actually bring some popcorn because I was looking forward to that yeah. popcorn, which is really popcorn. It is. It's popcorn um, that we've, like I said, it's it's organic. We've air popped it. We've thrown in a few ingredients like kelp that are great for the dogs. Right. Again, the iodine, and it's really. I know it's crazy, but people love the popcorn. So much. It's that good it's for hard. them too. Yeah, it's good for them too. It is good. Uh, <laughs> okay. Now we have you have mixes. Um, mm -hmm. This is a oh another one. I just happened to pick up yeah. carob mutt muffin mix, and you take the mix, and you put it into a. <laughs> These are our molds. Into a little mold. So this is a smaller bone mold. Mm -hmm. That's correct. How cute! Are you can decorate it and everything. Like that? I guess yes. You can't use frosting though, huh? We do. We give recommendations. Or you you can use low fat uh, cream cheese is fine for the dogs. Oh, it is simple cream yes. cheese frosting. Oh my gosh. Spoil these dogs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, somebody said, why aren't you doing this for cats? Well, you know what? Cats, it's funny, are uh, very finicky. We've actually tried to do some treats for cats, mm -hmm. and um, we actually uh, ha have a cat, and um, he only likes one of our three recipes, so it's been a lot harder to find tastes that they like. Okay, so it's mm -hmm. easier for the dogs. It's the, the dogs, I'm telling you, we, that's another reason that got us into this, okay. is that we didn't realize our treats um, were so good good to them because a lot of people said my dogs don't normally eat treats and yet they'll eat your treats so that's really what spurred it on because we said oh there's plenty of dog treats right, out there right. but people said but they don't eat them so that's great now mm. um, one of the reasons why we wanted to talk to you is that you are having a gourmet event and the proceeds will uh, go to pets are a wonderful support that's correct PAWS and we've done shows with them before and they're mm -hmm. a wonderful organization so you try to give back to the community too yes we do and PAWS is a company that we've been actually a, a nonprofit that we've been working with for years um, with their big fundraisers mm -hmm. and in addition since we were doing this um, gourmet open house we are doing some fundraising for them as well so we'll be raffling off different things um, we're raffling off items every hour mm -hmm. Um, and the money will, all the proceeds will go to pause. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is just waiting for their turn to get into Patricia's special treats. We have a Spike over here with That's Patricia, it. and I have Katie here. Oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Already getting into the treats. Now, what we've done is we have a birthday on some of these wonderful gourmet, um, gourmet treats. So, time for a short break. We'll be back in just a moment. Just waiting for their turn to get into Patricia's special treats. We have uh, Spike over here with That's Patricia, it. and I have Katie here. Oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Already getting into the treats. Now, what we've done is we have a birthday cake, mm -hmm. right, or a cake for all occasions. That's right. Mm -hmm. So what is this cake out made out of? This one right here is our apple cinnamon. So it has apple, cinnamon. We have um, organic flour actually in that. Mm -hmm. Uh, cream of tartar, honey, just uh, like you do for a people cake. Okay, and you have little cakes or are these bones? Mixed these are our mutt muffin, right. These are the mutt muffin molds oh, those that we muffins. actually made. Oh, okay. And you can use the... 
and the guys love them, huh? Yes. Don't you guys love them? <laughs> and we also have cookies, and we right. have, I mean, they actually look good, you know, for people consumption here. Huh. Okay, Katie, I don't mean a teaser. No. <laughs> now, and, and this is available for for uh, dog parties or? That's right. Um, actually, all of these hand-cut cookies are available at George in, uh, in Berkeley and San Francisco. He actually mm -hmm. has a bakery case of all our cookies. You can buy them all the time, 365 mm -hmm. days a year. And he also carries the mixes as well as embellish that mm -hmm. we mentioned on, in San Francisco will be carrying. So actually, this is something that I would make at home. You can make that at at home. That's okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you know, let's go ahead and give them a treat. They've been so good. So, sure. what should we do? You a bone? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, here's a, oh, this is carob. This is, uh huh. That's our famous carob again. The okay. Hearts. Here's mm -hmm. a carob pot. So, here you go. Oh, Katie. All right. She's going to enjoy herself right there. Mm -hmm. And Spike can have something. Yeah, now, again, the information is that um, the fundraising event, your gourmet tasting treat, mm -hmm. is at Embellish, which is a. Um, it's a contemporary gift, home furnishings, and now gourmet. Uh, dog treats. So they, they'll store. be carrying your items. They are. They're actually okay. going to have a smelling dog bakery department there. Oh, great! How cute! So yeah. You can go there, and so the event's there, and that way, if you go there, you buy raffles and what have you, you can win some information. Let's tell you that uh, we're almost out of time, but please join us again next week on Bay Area People. And also, I believe the information was up on the screen a little while ago. We're talking about going to embellish. Um, actually. April, 4, uh, April 14th at 177 Brannan for information more about smiling dogs. But we're out of time, so thank you very much for joining us. Please join us again next week right here on Bay Area People. Until then, I'll see you next week. Have a great week, and we'll go watch the dogs eat.